To prepare the work for display and tour, the key factor is to stabilize the portrait, undertake minimal conservation treatment, and to glaze and fit a climate buffered system to the frame itself. The additional analytical analysis will inform a more long-term conservation care and preventative conservation program. Infrared reflectography is a very useful and um, safe scientific imaging technique that conservators use to gain information about the painting which is not immediately visible to the naked eye. It's particularly successful at showing us underdrawing based on carbon and sometimes also compositional changes and also damage to the painting. We learnt quite a few very interesting things in our infrared examinations. Um, one of the things we noticed was that Van Dyck changed the costume. The collar underneath the white collar that you can see behind me was initially painted taller and there was also some change at the bottom of the costume on the right hand side. Some large dark circular shapes could be seen in the infrared image which was subsequently covered up with background paint. We also noticed in the infrared image some um, dark washes of translucent paint to position and delineate the head on the canvas. Um, this is particularly noticeable around the jawline and also at the back of the head. The infrared image also showed an uh, interesting and unusual mottled pattern beneath the paint and we haven't yet worked out what this might relate to. It could in fact relate to the condition of the painting or it could be something to do with the lining of the painting. I'm very intrigued by the infrared images and what these strange mottled, marbled effects are that we're seeing and I'm hoping that during our further investigations I will get some answers to those questions. X-radiography is another very useful scientific imaging technique that conservators use to, again, look through a painting and to see things that are not immediately apparent to the naked eye. An, an X-ray can give us information about um, the type of paints used. Certain paints will allow X-rays to pass through them. Others will impede the X-ray. And because of that, we get a particular type, character of contrasted image, which we then interpret to gain information about the artist's technique, materials and indeed condition. So far I've started to remove the surface dirt from the painting with small cotton wool swabs dipped into deionized water. There isn't actually very much dirt on the surface but I need to remove that. I've also almost finished cleaning the back of the painting with small sponges which trap the dirt without leaving any debris behind. The painting is an amazing example of Van Dyck's work. It's got incredible brushwork. The confidence and the ease at which the paint is applied to the canvas is an indication of the confidence and charisma of the artist. It really shows through in the portrait itself. This is a painting with amazing skill and mastery. For me, I can't think of a nicer and more elegantly understated self-portrait to be spending time with. It is extremely skillfully executed and as a practical person, as a restorer, I really do appreciate what Van Dyck created in this self-portrait.